One of the reasons why I'm here for H2 Ocean is I really do believe in the product. The first metal mohawk that I had done was done with what I call first generation transdermals. And it took approximately a year to a year and a half for those to heal. The second set that I did on the individual was the second generation transdermals, which is pretty much what I use today. And those took about six months to heal. He had gotten six. About a year ago, I had done 14 transdermals on a gentleman. It was a double row metal mohawk. And he had used H2 Ocean in, in his healing regimen. And they were completely healed in two months. Transdermals and surface to surface piercings are the hardest modifications to heal, period. And I have seen amazing, amazing results with H2 Ocean. And um, I, I've been a believer in the product ever since. When we, uh, when we do suspensions, when we do the cleanup after the suspensions, we used to use BZK wipes. And it's difficult to get blood off skin with BZK wipes. And then we, we started resorting to Technicare. And I swear to God, about a month ago, I had done a, a horizontal suspension and the person had bled a lot. And so I was in the process of cleaning up the blood. And I'm using the, the Technicare, and it's, Technicare is a lot better than a BZK wipe, but it was still taking forever. And I looked over at, it, at the bottle of H2 Ocean and I said, hey, spray some H2 Ocean. And uh, a friend reached over and shot it. And before he had gotten to the end of the spray, the dried up blood at the beginning of the spray had already dissolved and was starting to drip drip down the side and I was like, ah, oh, be damn and I took a the gauze and, and gave it a wipe and it was like angel sun. You know, it was a, I was like, you know, I could have been doing that for the last year. So um, if anything else, it's excellent for cleaning up after suspensions.